only oxygen for cancer doing chemo. That would help to be the cancer cell, but will not deal with the root issue. Because what happened, why did the body lose this ability to absorb oxygen in the first place? Is because your diet and lifestyle has changed the pH balance to an acidic one. But your body ideally operates at optimum health in a slightly alkaline pH, what do you call it, pH balance? PH. So it needs to be slightly alkaline. It takes a while for you for that to happen. It's a process. Nothing happens like magic. Yeah. So you have changed your body chemistry from an alkaline one to an acidic one. And acidity doesn't facilitate the transportation of, blood, of, of oxygen. Mm -hmm. And that is the problem. When the blood body is highly acidic, then it cuts down the amount of oxygen that gets to the blood, gets to the cells. When you have a very acidic body. Mm -hmm. And that causes all the major disease. That one factor causes all the major disease, not just cancer. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying your diet, you have food that are alkaline forming, yeah. and there's food that are acidic forming. So you can you can Google that and or you can read. Well, I don't document that in terms of which food, because I don't use any book. But I'm saying yeah. once you're writing it so you to understand the disease, I know people have overcome, overcome it naturally. Yeah. But you can Google what foods are acid, acid forming and what yeah. foods are alkaline forming. That's yeah. thing that you can Google. Yeah. I'll be talking about that in my presentation. Okay, well fine. So my, my friend here will talk about that in you know, um, I, I, like, I like the way you, did, you actually did what, what you've done. I think it's very effective. In terms of this, what I've heard, right, um, is it true that uh, cancer can be induced? They can be injected? Yes. Yeah. Let's put it this way. You can put cancer cells in somebody, but they did that experiment with rats so when they did the test. Mm -hmm. But the point is, if the body is alkaline, the cancer cell will not survive. You understand what I'm saying? It will not survive and take root. Because you cannot die from one or two cancer cells. Mm. That's why I make the point about breast cancer won't kill you because your breast, you can survive without your breast. It has to compromise the critical organ for you to die. Mm. So having a few cancer cells in your body will not kill you. It has to spread sufficiently to choke off life. So gradually your critical organ shut down and you just, that's it. The body just listen, I've had enough. And so one by one, all your defense system fail. Your kidney fail, your pancreas fail, your liver fail, and you die. Mm -hmm. So that's the point. That if your body has optimum health, we have wins. It's just like your car. Your car is designed to run based on certain principles. If you supply it with all the right principles, it's not going to suddenly stop work for no reason. Everything is cause and effect. It has to have a specific reason for it to stop. So if the condition is right, it's going to keep doing the thing because you have defense. Your defense, your, your, your heart does something like 200 operations per second or whatever, right? It does a whole lot of things, your heart, sorry, your kidney, sorry, your kidney, your liver. It's constantly doing things to defend you and cleanse you and protect you and all of these defense systems is constantly working. But if you gradually over time compromise them, then they become less efficient at doing their job. And if they can't do their job and you keep pumping stuff into it, that is why we, 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 we have a difficulty with survival, because most of what we do, we don't get an immediate response. So some people say, oh, I know somebody that smoked for eight years and he was all right. So what does that tell you? You can't use the exception to the rule to make a point. So some people, it might be just that his lungs were designed a lot stronger than yours. <laughs> so you play a lot of thinking, I'm going to have the same thing. This guy smoked for X amount of years, but you know young people die from smoking. So you said because you know a guy who's has X amount of age, he smoke, nothing wrong with him. So what's the big deal? Same thing applies to eating certain things. Oh, I know people eat that for X amount of years, nothing wrong with it. People have different resistance to different things. They might be in a better state of mind, whatever. Could be a combination of factors why they never bomb. But your combination and your part, maybe you're born with weaker cells because your parents compromise you with their diet. You understand what I'm saying? So it's also the fact that the best thing is don't test the theory that smoking, for example, will kill you. There's no point testing that our junk food will kill you. Don't watch what other people are doing, just know the science of it. And second, the most important point is this. It's about health. It's not about whether you die or live, because everybody's going to die. It's what condition do you want to be in? In my opinion, you don't see 
An elephant supposedly lived to like 70 or whatever. You don't say an elephant get to 40 and he's like this. That's <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying. It don't happen. He probably lived till about maybe when he gets to maybe 60, 65 years old and he starts to live, you know? Yeah, because because the body so really <laughs> quick to keep you going up to the. You have no idea that you're supposed to be sick for 30, 40 years and like in pain and discomfort for you. That, there is nothing in the book that, that is normal. Mm -hmm. That's normal because you have attacked your body consistently. And the body, the only reason why you don't die is sometimes instantly because the body is so well designed. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing that some of us will say, well, I've been on this medication for X and I'm still alive. Mm -hmm. Because once you understand how well designed it is, then you know why you don't die suddenly and it's misleading. All right, and so, so this, from 1924, Otto Warburg yeah. mentioned what he mentioned. Yeah. yeah? So people in the medical field must know that this. Yes, they yeah. did. So whenever somebody is then um, diagnosed with whatever cancer, breast, prostrate and such, yeah. isn't there no one within the medical field who can say, well, I know, and then apply that to make things better? Well, you see, 2009, it says a breakthrough. So you ask them, not ask them, why it's a breakthrough in 2009? Did you see? You saw the article, it's a breakthrough in it. Why is it a breakthrough and it happened in 1924? You got, you got. I'm just saying, you need. I try to explain how the system works to people. There's different set. They, each person is in their little people. See, they call the kingdom. They are operating in their own little area. Everybody is defending their little corners. And they, they don't seem to be stockpiling. Stock no, one of the things I demonstrated in the book is in the early 1900s, people were dying from scurvy. Scurvy, I'm yeah. When people went to see all thousands of people dying from this thing. Mm -hmm. And all the deaths are it? It would be insane. So from that early, they discovered all in me. You mean to say not taking a vitamin can kill you? So why is it that the system is not geared towards that avenue of, of fixing? Furthermore, the Egyptians, under, a lot, I think it was about 2,000 years before that, dealt with the scurvy thing before that. Mm -hmm. And that is documented as well. So when they had that problem in the early 1900s, they didn't need to wait hundred or X amount of years to fix that. They could have just researched Egyptian and fix it straight away. But it's the nature of the world that we live in, that each generation comes making the mistake. That is where I mentioned about history and what part it plays in learning. Yeah, people, to, to a, failure, a lack of knowledge of history makes you talk, prone to repeat the same mistake. Mm. Yes. And the system seems to operate like that. I think they have to create a vaccination where they can make money from. That's right. Then they dish it out. But they want to make money from it first. Right. There's this thousands of that. things out there right now. That I, 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 I read about um, a multiple sclerosis tablet that actually cured multiple sclerosis. They wanted to charge £35,000 for the course mm. to cure mm. multiple sclerosis. Because yeah, what, what, what got me is that my, my auntie of mine died in May. Uh, and she was diagnosed with what's called breast cancer. Mm. Not what it says, what's called breast mm. cancer. And what really got me was that, um, I remember they were coming around, to, they sent her home, they said, it's coming up before her. And what they did now, they, they, every day, a nurse came around insisting that they inject her with this morphine thing. Yeah. yeah? So, because she wasn't in considerable pain, yeah? She, and if she felt something, she would call us and say, and then you prop her up and all this and whatever. But not pain, which oh, nothing like that. But every day they came around with this morphine thing, saying that it has to be applied. And because we kept on saying, listen, to the point where we want to throw him out, <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, if you do that now, that's when they get the police in. Mm. In the end, uh, uh, our uncle uh, had to, uh, I don't know why, but he said, boy, you know, based upon the politics of it, there to induce her with this morphine. And within two days, the lady died. Yes. Mm. Euthanasia. Huh? They were actually yeah. killing her with the morphine. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, euthanasia. That's true. That's true. That's true. That really got me. And, and I, I think what? most people will not question it. Yeah. Most will not question. They'll say, look, doctor knows best. Check the team. Yeah. yeah. And we're thinking, why? Just because your, your own natural uh, common sense and yeah. hang on a minute. It's something yeah. right. Mm. You that they can force you to do this. Huh? They can't legally force you to do this. Yeah, Mm. But you know, don't know that. Anyway, let's we'll wrap up your section now, Devon. So yeah. thank you, Devon Moore, for your presentation. Yeah. Thank you very much. Anyway, anybody want